So today's video is in response to a um, subscriber request that I do a show and tell over the tags that I made um, in the journal. Um, I believe it was the Jane Austen memoirs number one. So I'll have to work on the number two, won't I? Um, pretty soon, I guess. Uh, but anyway, if I can, I'll insert a picture or a link to that video. Very interactive um, journal. I love that journal. <laughs> um, yeah, we should love the creations that we are creating. But anyway, so I'll probably um, only pop in and speak about things if I have to. But like I said, she wants me to do a show and tell. So that's what it's going to be doing. I'll be working and um, like a craft with me, not very much talking, just you seeing me do what I do because it's fairly simple. And um, pretty much I think, you know, highlighting the things that I've used. So we're gonna get that in the beginning out of the way. So I've cut up a few, a couple of uh, file folders because they make wonderful tags. And when you coffee dye them, you get some really, really nice um, striations, striations. Um, you know, some really nice looking, um, not texture, whatever. Oh, you can't even see. The lighting is horrible, you guys, horrible. <sighs> it's like I'm tired of buying all this stuff. And then you, it's, you're you like, oh, I found the thing, and then you don't find the thing. But anyway, and so I've also cut up a few 60-pound um, cardstock. And I didn't cut up the one 10-pound cardstock. That stuff I bought, I don't know, man. That's almost, like, very good to make a journal cover with. I mean, it's a little bit much. It's Which is it's good. It's cool. But it's a, a lot thicker than the 110 I'm used to. So I have those. And you see, I also have these little offshoots because um, when you cut the, your tags off, you can use these for, like, um, these size stamps, just stamp it on there and then you can make a tag out of it or just leave them just like this and tuck them in, you know, little bitty stamps, you know, just different sizes. And I like this one. It says, love stretches your heart and makes you big inside. Love that. And just like that. And then even some of the bigger ones. Now I like to make a nice tag. I have a butterfly stamp somewhere and I put the butterfly stamp, it's like two butterflies. And then I put that out beside it. That could be on a, a um, smaller tag as well. So, these are useful. Now, talked about those papers. And I'll show you some of the other stamps that I'm working with. But she had asked me if they were digitals. Which, they aren't digitals. But, on one of the journals I did, I can't remember what journal. It was the giveaway journal. Oh, it was beautiful. Anyway, um, I did make these. And so I saved them and I'm going to continue. Oh, I'm going to continue. I'm going to put these in the um, journals that I've uh, just finished as tags. I wonder if I could um, do that and then maybe make a digital out of them. But this is lovely to do. And you could do this simply. You don't have to have Photoshop. I'm sure I did these on Photoshop. But this is not something that you, you have to have Photoshop to do. Just go in, you know, cut them out, make a tag out of them if you want, and then coffee dye them, stain them, whatever you want to do um, with them. And those will be really nice and easy, too. Now, my little boys were helping me coffee dye some paper. So I had, I think, uh, two stacks of copy paper, right, for them to choose from. I had two stacks of copy paper, two reams, not stacks, two reams of, of, of copy paper, regular copy, copy paper, 24-pound, uh, 28-pound, um, I think. And then I had my vellum underneath those two, right? So the youngest goes and he grabs this. So when I, they brought them back in and they were dry, and I was like, I was feeling it, and I was like, what is, what is, what happened? You know, what's what's going on here? They had <laughs> coffee dyed my vellum. So that is what this is, you guys. Oh, now that, I don't know what that is. Something stuck on there. And I was like, what am I going to do with this? You know, this one, um, pretty good uh, 
um, good thick vellum, nice vellum. And I was like, oh my gosh, because this one was a, a good penny. Uh, but I said, you know what? It must be that I needed to make some ephemera out of something out of this. And that's why, you know, because you don't go and look from the bottom. You pull from the top. But anyway, so um, th I'm going to try and see what I can do with this because I thought this would make some really nice ephemera. And so we'll, I'll be working on that as well. Now, stamps. Since I am, you know, these large butterfly stamps, of course, we all love butterflies. But let me show you some other stamps. I think this one was the biggest one that I get the most questions on. This is a lined, a journal lined stamp, and it is called Journal with Flourish. That's the journal lines, and here's the flourish, of course. And I'm going to show you how I make those, the lines on the thing. And if you don't have this stamp, what you can do. But I got it at Hobby Lobby on sale for $2.37. It was $9.49. I'm sure you can't see that. And it is Journal with Flourish KR1038. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And of course, I do have these larger. I, I think I've probably used this once. Um, and then this is not even my go-to ink here. Um, but, you know, it's good to have the larger ink pads. And then, yeah, look what I've done with all that. And so with these ink pads, always keep, um, and I'm looking for, I have um, a few refills. I'm looking for my espresso. I remember I got a lot of these from Tuesday morning. Now I can't even find them anymore. Um, I have a couple of refills on those as well. And so that's nice to have. And I may go with the espresso today. We'll see. So um, anyway, there's that. And then I want to show you more stamps. But I also want to show you these. These little blocks, um, acrylic blocks. These are what you can put your, um, what do we call these stamps? These see-through stamps on, okay? And I love working with these. So where, um, where you can see where you're stamping. But if your stamp is crooked, you know, where are you going to, you know, how, how far are you going to get there? So it's good to have these different sizes. And those are that length. And then I have um, a fairly good sized one here. Okay. And then, you know, a good sized one as far as that's concerned. And then you get, I'm going to pull up a few stamps here. So Tuesday morning has, um, you can always, or you know, can't say always because things always change. I get a lot of stamps from Tuesday morning, okay, because they have them marked down. You can get Tim Holtz stamps, Bow Bunny stamps, as you can see. Um, these stamps I purchased online through probably, not Wish, um, I've, I've probably gotten some on Wish, but Wish, you have to be careful with the, um, the shipping because the shipping was ex expensive. And so, um, and I know we're kind of not ordering as much from over there, but I have ordered recently some art supplies for my daughter. But anyway, um, what is the other site? You have Wish, and then you have, if I can't call it out, I'll probably just write it in up there. But anyway, so I love these butterflies, and I'll probably definitely work with those because I guess I'm going to work on some stamps for that kit. These kind of stamps like this with all of the stuff going on, I think I want to try to make some ephemera using this vellum here with these busy stamps like that. So we'll see how that works. I'm just trying to get everything out there. Um, and these will be good for ephemera as well. Now, we're not going to talk crazy about stamps because, oh gosh, we have crazy, crazy amount of stamps. And I'm going to turn to the side here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now this is just underneath me. These. And I'm not even hitting the surface here. So when I've, I've talked before about um, some, you know, senseless purchases. These were not senseless because um, I was, you know, doing all of the vintage um, paper things and I was going to have all of these kits and I did a few kits and I keep saying I'm going to do more kits 
Um, and I think I included some in giveaways. But this is what I'm talking about. See, I love these stamps here. But when I, and I can tell y'all probably, they were such a good price, I probably ordered multiples of them. But anyway, I'll go through these and I'll figure out which ones I can use to um, play with more. And I love this one. I think that's where that one comes from. Yeah. So that's this one here. That's this one here. Yeah. So it's not good storage at all. I need to find a better way of storing these. And these, like I said, these are just right beside me there. So let me clean my little desk back up because now all of my little dusties are coming off. And we're going to just jump in here and I'll try and find some music, hopefully, because you don't want to just be listening to me with all of the, um, you know, just listening <laughs> to nothing at all. Okay, here we go. Just going to jump in and I'll show you working with this one first. So, now I don't even know. Before I even jump in, I haven't used this. I don't even know if we... Let's test it. I think we're good. We'll try it. So, I would just load it up. And I guess it's come off. Yeah, I can see that. It's still good, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to line it up there. And it's going to be okay to get... Um, for the edge to be coming off. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Now... I'm just gonna flip it. And then you have to see, because sometimes you are going to go crooked and I have to do like that to measure it. Okay, and then you'd have something like this, right? And then you'd have something else on the front if you had a picture, if you were just um, putting that on the back. You'd end up with that. You can round the corner, corners or cut your, and I've thought about that. That's a coffin tag. I don't really like that. But it's a little crooked, but that's fine. We're not, I'm not gonna, you know, go really crazy worrying about that. Because I want to play. Let's see what we can come up with. And then these are the ones that really I love it. It's quite a big stamp. And then I don't know, you're wondering, well, is it going to go on straight? Now, the thing about these stamps is, I want to speak on that. You guys, you can get custom stamps, like the stamps with your name. You can look on eBay and just or in, go online and type in um, custom stamps. And then look around, you know, look around, um, price it, and see, you know, which one has the best price, the price that you are comfortable with, pay, uh, with paying, because that's what it's all about. Um, and look at the ratings, of course. Always check your ratings. You can find something really cheap, but if the ratings are horrible, then, you know. And that's another thing what these, um, these little pieces here are good for. So if you want to make your name stamp... And this really should be on one of the smaller, um, one of these ones, but I use it so often. The, I was using the other one so often with different um, stamps, I didn't want to mess that up. But just say you did that. Okay. And then you'd have that. Of course, we have that. Now, we can have some fun. And this is the part where I'm going to talk because every, even if you're having fun, you still have to try stuff. It's, you know, you're, you just got to play around and see what you come up with. You may like it, you may not. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to play around. 
see what I come up with. That's too big. I'm just gonna put that paper there to block, make sure that that doesn't interfere. Then we have something like that. I should keep all of that. Oh yeah, so let me do this. Got to check. Okay, so this is one of those purchases, right? Um, I don't use this, and I should, and I hope that I will. Um, it's good if you want to if you want to do like the same um, tag multiple times. Say. I were to set this up and then I had, let's say I, I, say I had something like this. I, it doesn't want to come off, right? I had something like that and then maybe something else down there, okay? Instead of having it on this acrylic block, I set it up in here and you can look that up and see the demo that he does. Um, and then I would have multiple tags that way. But like I said, that's kind of big. And if you're, you're not going to make uh, multiple tags, you know, you're kind of, it's just another one of those things that we've purchased. And I'm not saying it's bad because I, you know, look, I want to use it. I want to use it more, but I'm, I'm just saying, right? Yeah, I'm just saying to you guys. But anyway, so let's see what I'm going to come up with. I don't necessarily want that there. Um, so if I put that here, and then you could do like, kind of where, I wish I had like a script stamp, you know, I do have a script stamp, I wish I had found it, how about that, we'll just say that, because I said that, that's a script stamp there, okay? Not really what I'm trying to go for. Maybe who knows. This is an improv too, you guys. I'm sorry. I should have prepped for this. I should have had some idea. But I'm just rocking with it, learning to go with the flow. That may be a nice one. And then oh, she may have wanted to know about. Okay, hold on. I've got to stop. I've got to clear this away because. I just remembered some of the stuff that was in that um, that journal. Hold on. Okay. And I'm <laughs> listen, you guys. I am sorry that this looks this way um, because I've clearly um, just thrown them in here. I should be ashamed. I should, but I'm not. Okay. So this is me adding um foam back and i forgot what you call this because when i purchased these beautiful stamps and this is what they are just gotta look past all this okay i'm sorry okay they are called um oxford impressions and um it's pride and prejudice of course pride and prejudice there regency england jane austen um so when you get them, and I think they were 25 per sheet, 
$25 per sheet. I don't know what they are now. Hold on. I thought one was kind of still intact. Okay. So this one's kind of intact. So you get them and they're all just one big sheet. Then you go in and you cut them out. Okay. So that's what this one looks like. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I would had no problem pay, paying that price because if you think about it, you can individual, individualize these stamps. Oh, well, they still are kind of pricey, aren't they? But anyway, especially given that you have to, um, you don't have to, but when I tried to just, you know, use them as they were, it got a little um, difficult. But anyway, so that's what these are. That's where I got them from on Etsy. I'll see if um, the lady's still up on Etsy because this was a couple of years ago. Um, anyway, and that's this one. And I also purchased these... Whatever this is, a dancing at almanacs. I've never used it. Um, lovely. It's not that it's not lovely. I just have never used them. And I thought I had one more. But anyway, I, I was trying to see if there were the phones. And I can't remember what they were. You can probably look that up. But anyway, you get this foam stuff, and it, it comes as a sheet, and you put your you put your uh, stamp on it your rubber stamp down on it, and then you just cut around it, and so that's your shape. Now, you know, you can go, you can add that to a wooden block, and one of my, okay, look, that's come off, but you know, you can add that to a wooden block if you just had a bunch of wooden blocks. Of course, now, if you're gonna do that, stamp it first, stamp so you'll see what the stamp, you know, looks like, and then just glue that down. Probably some E6000, I don't think I would, uh, recommend hot glue in case it would fall off later but anyway that's what that is in case that that is what the young lady was inquiring about so I'll look that um, Etsy shop up if it, it should it'll still be in my um, it'll still be in my Etsy history you know what that is yeah and here's the nut. Here's the other one that I have. Okay, so there's that one. Love that because it's got this um, vehicle to carry. And as you can see, and then the gentleman. Okay. So, <laughs> oh gosh, um, okay, well, you guys are just going to bear with me. I also have these ones, and you guys, I've not, I'm, yes, I've not taken care of my stamps, I'm so sorry. Now, the thing about this is, I'm looking at these stamps, and oh, I want to make so many tags, I just want to make Oh, I'm missing my old style of journals, but I'm making plain journals right now. Clemmy, don't get carried away. Stay focused. Oh, but look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Love that vintage thing era. Um, and these are sticking. Look, I'm not taking as nice care. And I don't see what these are called. I was hoping I was going to find a place where I got these ones. This is definitely a show and tell, isn't it? Okay, so this person was telling me. Okay, but anyway, that's what those stamps. I love that one, of course. But um, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see what each stamp looks like? Um... And I'm not sure if I got this off of Etsy or not. Yeah. And then there's another one. Get that. So if you guys look, love these ones here with the um the lady and the gentleman. Um, if you guys know, I need to do this for my vintage thing. Vintage vintage theme. Um, it's getting late. Um so if you guys know a way that I can store my stamps, because I have a few stamps, and those are the only ones that are stored, and they're not really stored. I have one of those three um, drawer plastic bins with a crap load of stamps in them, and then these are just 
as you saw, they're in um, Ziploc bags. These ones are in a big shopping bag. And I, you guys, I should be ashamed. Sadly, I am not. Um, and I don't even know if that's all that the um, lady was wanting was to kind of show where the stamps came from. I'm really sorry. But as you can see, that's how you can achieve those stamps. And this one I like too. And then I have a couple of, you guys, oh my God. <laughs> um, and these one aren't even on the thing. But see, I need to put these on the block. But even if, let me just do that. Okay, let's say, let me just show what they would look like. I don't want to waste some good, um, cause that's gonna be that. See if I can do that without messing it up. And Jen, um, Dreams Etc., she doesn't even use these blocks. So it's not like you have to have these blocks. Um, but she's a little bit better at mine. For some reason, I'll always um, lift up at the wrong time. Let's put it down here. So just do like that. And then there, I love that. Let's get it in. Yeah, it's not showing. I, you know what? I should have just made this video in the morning. But I don't want to remake it. So there's that one. Let's see what this one would look like. This is another fade. I don't think I got too much of the head there. That top piece of hair. Now I said I was gonna play music and the only music that I hear, oh, I love that. Look at that. Oh, and it's darn. Let's see if I turn that off. We'll get a better. Yeah, but now I'm in the dark. Now look at these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I love those. I'm sorry, I'm kind of working here in the dark. I don't want to strain my eyes. I'm going to try this one. I'm starting to have a little too much fun. <laughs> I had to do a voiceover because I started talking about Sharon's video, and I was so excited. I was nearly screaming, <laughs> you guys, but I'm talking about her... Um, the dollhouse journal video gosh you got to check it out i'm going to try and throw that picture up here the link will be below but if you want to see something now my um what was what was that the music box journal that i did oh my gosh this lady has taken it to another level do you hear me she has not only created the house beautiful house but furniture, OMG. Now I've done all that talking and I've messed my stamp up, but I'm gonna keep that. But I'm gonna go back in for a little more. You guys, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. So I was thinking, that's why I was thinking of that because I'm looking at these um, stamps, these vintage ladies, and I want to do something different. And like I'm saying, I wanna make just um, some plain journals, some plain writing journals. Um, some I'll use with my iris paper, of course, I've got those, but then I just, um, think I want to throw together, let's go this way. I want to throw together some that are just, um, you know, no theme at all, just plain writing journals with general vintage papers, you know, look at that. Yes, love that. Now, she's deep in thought, so... Something like, look, if I came with this stamp and then this here, now look, check, you know, there's your stamp just combining stuff. Um, oh, look at that. So I'm so loving. Yeah, that's, oh, that's on her on the other side. But can you see these stamps? I love these stamps. I love, love, love these stamps. Now let's see. Let's just go for it. I don't know. Will that fit up there? I think barely. And I think this is crooked, which is what you... <laughs> yeah, it's crooked. I'm still going to do it. Um, which is what you have to watch out for. 
which is why the um, the acrylic blocks are supposed to be so helpful. But if the stamp is not, um, you can still mess up. So let's just put that there. Now what I could have done, and that's what I'm gonna do, let me show you. Since I'm getting into the mood now, yeah, and I have to say that because I've been waiting um, to do, oh, but see, that already has. I like that, so we'll turn it over. We'll take this, and we'll take one of these brushes. I talked about this, I think, on my Instagram. Got this idea from Miss Cog. Um, Terry's uh, told me about this as well. Okay. These brushes is what I'm talking about. Oh, did you guys, what is wrong? <laughs> you know what's wrong with this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. This dropped into my tea. And instead of me rinsing it out, I'm wondering why in the heck. You guys, that's ridiculous. No, I'm not gonna throw that away. I'm going to stick it in some hot water. Well, maybe just water, maybe they'll soften it up. But, you know me, I didn't just buy one of those pair of brushes. I bought two packs of them, and there are several brushes in them, at least 10, I think. So I'm good. So that's why I have the exact same brush. And you guys know how I get it when it's late. Or it's getting late, anyway. Now I'll say that, and there's really no point in trying to go to sleep, because I have been up on that, um, not getting any sleep lately. So, yeah, that's kind of the empty spot there. I wasn't really thinking, I really didn't want to have too much of that going on. But now we have that. We're gonna try this again. No, I want it black. I want it black, I like that. So I'm gonna to try to get it straight. Mm, too far up there. Okay. Well, it's straight enough, I guess. And then we have this. And as you'll see, I'm not using my acrylic block, and it's okay. Now I can come up high, because I can cut the bottom of that off, but I'm not. Let's just go here. And I still feel like there's space there. So there's so much that you can do with these stamps. Right? There's so much that you can do. So I've got that. Trying to stay somewhat together here. Let's cut the tag. Flip it. Uh-oh, I flip. I cut too much off. I might cut that word off over there, but that's fine. Now I can't see because I've cut this light off. Now that I have that, yep, see, I kind of went in a little too much on that side. Okay. And so I've also, what I've just done is I've transferred, because it's not completely dry yet. Now, I know I'm using the, yeah, see, that's going in dark. Then, and I used to love making my own tags. I do, I still do. That's why I'm getting very excited about this here. So, clearly, I've messed up here. I've transferred that over there, but... This is a handmade item. It just is what it is. I think when mass produced items are messed up like that, that's when they kick them off to places maybe like Tim Holtz or it's out of sale. Not like Tim Holtz. What do you call those places? Oh gosh, outlets. No, yeah. 
well, whatever. Okay, so there's that. Now, I did want to try that vellum out. So I will, this video will be longer than what I was expecting it to be and it really shouldn't be. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna try my vellum out and see what that will look like. And yes, this is why my uh, table can never be clean. And my table, uh, is it eight feet long, you guys? And then I always have it crowded in here. I think it's like three and a half feet wide and I'm crowded into this small little space. I bet most of us do that. Um, which stamp did I want to use with that? Where did it go? Well, I said these ones might be nice, but it was another one, wasn't it? Well, we can try this one. But I wanted to try another one I thought. No. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going <laughs> to... Let's use our brains here. Let's not overwork ourselves. So we're just gonna do both of these while they're still on here so I don't have to put them on that acrylic block and then wonder about where I'm gonna cut and did I leave enough spacing? We're just gonna leave it like this. Switch and do the next side. Uh-oh, now all that extra black is gonna be in there. And I'm gonna lay it down this way. Get close to that edge there so I can save myself. And this is um, archival. I guess it's archival ink, but that's not what I was trying to say. Is it? Was it? No. Okay. Permanent ink. This is the water. No, that is it. That's not. Okay, so I'm good. I was thinking about these these ones. Are they the same? No. You know, the distress. Let's see if that... Oh, I don't like that. So I don't like what this looks like at all on um, the vellum. So I try again, but here, and I think it's just a stamp because if I recall, I've used that stamp before and I wasn't really digging it. So I'm gonna try again with another stamp and see if I like it better. So I'm going to try with this um, espresso and I like it. So then I decide to go in Again, and try the black ink to see if it's just a stamp. And I absolutely love this stamp on the vellum. So, turns out it is the stamp itself. It's not um, the vellum. So, I can continue making my ephemera. If I use this stamp, I'll just put it on the coffee dot paper like I just showed you. And I won't try that on the vellum. So now I'm going to um, take the digitals that I was showing you um, and I'm going to cut them out and make tags out of them. Since I did mention those, I'll go ahead and um, cut those out. Now I know that they're coffee dyed, but you can't tell here, but I did coffee dye those. No, I didn't. They're not coffee dyed yet. Well, that's what I get for... Um, making a video a week before and then trying to come back and do a voiceover. You just simply forget. Well, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Going to cut these up. And, you guys, this is a lovely way to uh, create your own tags. Um, there are a lot of freebies that you can find online. Um, go in, put them together, and then, you know, you can create your own stuff. So don't, you know, don't be shy about it. Not shy, don't be afraid. And yep, now we're going to coffee dye them. I should have done that first and then let them dry. And so these are my little coffee mixes that I 
do not have to put in the refrigerator. They stay on my table and I use them as I need to. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the, the, gl the glitzy one because why not? So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me uh, putting all the coffee on the tags. Um, so I want to point out here, you guys, these tags were created using simple things. All of these tags created very simply, and I absolutely love them. And that's what's most important. We have to love what we create. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a wonderful night, a wonderful grand rising, or a wonderful evening, wherever you are.